A disappointing jobs report out today. U.S. employers added just 194,000 jobs in September. That's less than half of what analysts predicted. Face the Nation host Margaret Brennan joins us live from Washington tonight with more insight on what this report says about our economic recovery. Margaret? And good evening to you, Anna Ritas. Uh, we are going to dig into this on Sunday's Face the Nation because this disappointing jobs report shows once again that the virus has a tight grip around the direction of the economy and that last month in September you saw those who normally would be hiring hit the brakes a little bit here uh, and you saw this disappointing number as a result of that. So this could have political consequences for President Biden's plans to have this massive uh, multi-trillion dollar economic stimulus package move through Congress in the weeks ahead. It could also have uh, some impact on his promise to deliver uh, on massive job growth within his first year in office. We will dig into these figures with one of the top economists in the country, Mary Daly of the San Francisco Fed. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much. I know you'll also be looking into the developments coming out of Capitol Hill on the congressional investigation of the January 6th attack. You can watch Margaret on Face the Nation Sunday morning at 10.30 on WBZ.